Hello and welcome to another episode of RC Racing TV. In this edition, we are in Slovakia, one of the greatest RC facilities on this planet. Yes, it's the remarkable Hoodie Arena. And the class of racing, well, it's 10 scaled electric powered touring cars for the F3 European Championships. Now, we'll also be looking at some of the awesome things you can do with HPI Racing's ready to run version of these cars. Whether you like drift, grip, or some classic rally action, this show is your perfect introduction to one-tenth on-road rally control cars. Now, before we get on with the racing, let's observe one of these speed machines up close in its natural habitat. And now it's over to John. The Efra Electric Touring Car Euros in association with Montec LRP and Extra. Here's the Montec starting grid. Ronald Volker, one of four Germans, on pole position from Bruno Coelho in second. Mark Reinhardt, second of the German contingent off grid three. Alexander Hagberg for Sweden from grid four. Michael Olowski from grid five, the only Polish driver. Viljami Kudvornen in sixth position from Finland. Victor Vilk in seventh. Elliot Harper for Britain in eighth. Freddy Sudhoff in ninth. And Chris Krepp in tenth position. So Ronald Volker from pole position. Bruno Coelho in second position. How long will he stay there? We know Bruno's reputation is that he likes to get to the front. And he likes to get there quickly. Patience, not a virtue. One put next to the Portuguese driver. And he has been quick, in fairness, uh, this week. I'd be happy that he didn't qualify on pole position. Mark Reinhardt holding on to third position. But it's the battle at the moment between Ronald Volker, the man from put pole. And, in fact, Hagberg, Alex Hagberg's come through. Uh, the familiar purple colours of Reinhardt in the background there. Already down to fourth as Hagberg in the green and white up into third position but no one challenging the leaders at the moment fantastic facility here used as a test track for x-ray the hoodie arena we've raced indoors here it's very very hot has been a beautiful week of racing these electric cars now not affected so much as in the past by the heat far more reliability and here is the battle for the lead Coelho then, Bruno Coelho having a look, got the x-ray chassis so he should know his way around here, well at least the chassis should, he'd expect it to be tuned well, oh just losing the back end there, in the technical part of the infield and this battling is allowing Alexander Hagberg and Mark Reinhardt to close in on the two leaders, the top four are away though, just wonder how long it will be for playing follow my leader is not enough for Bruno Coelho everybody's eyes fixed on the front of the field following these cars around grit and there it is there was the dive down the inside and there's a problem I think is the no looked like there might have been a problem with the bodywork there well that's a dive from way too far back that's not even a low percentage lunge you can just see the left hand side of the bodywork fouling Ronald Volker's car there but it has come unstuck and he's back in the fray but a long way back Coelho had to wait for him or he would have been penalised and that leaves then Alexander Hagberg from Sweden in the white and green from multiple champion Mark Reinhardt the German in purple and blue and these two now toughing it out at the head of the field already more than halfway through the race Hagberg on the x-ray Tamir in second 
and coming through into third from grid five Polish driver Michael Olowski and he's beginning to become a factor here he's come from a long way back but with problems ahead and the leading runners taking themselves out there's an opportunity of a decent finish here it's the usual best two results out of three will decide the EFRA electric touring car Euros in association with Montec, LRP and X-Ray and at the moment Hagberg then still holding a lead a lead that is not significant it's only one slip isn't it one slight mistake and Mark Reinhardt well Mark Reinhardt what a career he's had and this is where he will be loving it a chance to make up positions from his grid spot of three and score low points this is very good news indeed for the German but I wonder if this point whether in the first race he might be thinking of settling for it what am I saying he's not going to be settling for second we know Reinhard of old he'll be pushing but he is a thinking driver we've seen him in the past the strategy may well play out in the second and third heats of this Efra electric touring car Euro final Hagberg then at the moment weathering the storm holding back the pressure from Reinhardt in second they've pulled away from Olowski who's light burned brightly for a moment but seems to have fizzled he's still there if there's any side by side or contact from the two leaders but he's not pressuring them as they're on the last lap now and now Reinhardt turns up the wick this is just what we expect from the German he's held a little bit in reserve he's trying now very hard indeed and Hagberg is having to defend at every corner tucking right in to the inside apex last corner now and here comes Reinhardt down the inside oh my goodness he's gone through and that is enough to get him the victory it was robust let's have a look at this LRP replay side by side contact I think the door was open and the stewards will have a look at that but the results then have Reinhard from Hagberg with Olowski in third possession ahead of Volker, Vilk and Coelho after looking so good only down in sixth now, if robust track action like this is your thing, check out this BMW M3 GTS HPI Sprint 2 Flux in action. So the results confirmed with Mark Reinhardt having taken that first heat. We go straight off onto heat number two and Volker has to do it all again with Bruno Coelho. Now, has he learned anything from that first run? These two guys are clearly the quickest drivers and package in the race. Hagberg already up into third position again. So Reinhardt having difficulty getting off the line. is back down in fourth position. So those two have swapped again from their grid slots. And then everybody else at the moment is an also run from this quartet. But Hagberg this time trying to close on to the leaders and put a little more pressure on himself. He'll feel, I think, a little aggrieved. But having seen the LRP replays of that incident in the first heat, that was side-by-side -side contact. He just didn't close the door quick enough. He'd done a super job around the previous lap. So it's now slate white clean for this race but of course it is the best two out of three results that will go forward so Hagberg still in with the chance and these two guys at the front need better results than the fifth and sixth that they got first time around if they're going to be a feature in the Afra electric touring car Euro championships here in Slovakia at the Hoodie Arena home of X-Ray and the top four pretty much together now. Mark Reinhardt, our first heat winner. First leg of the final winner. In fourth position. 
third is Alexander Hagberg with the white and green. And then second, Coelho, and still leading our pole man, Ronald Volker, the German. Volker showed to me that he could weather the storm of Coelho. Coelho, to me, is a little bit quicker, and we've seen that through all the qualifying. But it's whether Coelho can keep his cool on the sticks and pick the right time. Maybe he could take some lessons from Mark Reinhardt. He timed his run to the front perfectly in the first race. Now, top four. Now, this is what we came to see. This is what we were hoping for. Just over halfway through this second leg of the final. And Volker leading it from Coelho. Hagberg all around the outside from Coelho. That was audacious. This is more like the driving we were hoping to see from the Portuguese man in second position. But that seems to have spurred Ronald Volker on. He's finding some new pace. Very tidy lines, though, you've got to say that. He's hardly putting a wheel wrong, is he? Not leaving any opportunity for even the most aggressive of driver, as Quelo is. We know that he likes to make a decisive move. Question is, can he hold the red mist back? This is where it was in the first leg of the final and it's just a corner, corner further on now and there's another touch there and again it's Quillo who gets the worst of it Ronald Volk has dropped down to second and Hagberg goes through to the lead this could be very interesting indeed let's have another look here on the LRP replay well Mark Reinhardt very lucky there after solid contact with Quillo and Quillo has dropped back and that's going to put him out of the championship. Two results out of the top three. You're not going to come back from that, are you? Not even a man with his speed. So Hagberg now, second in the first leg, leading this one. Mark Reinhardt needs this position in front of him. He's the third place car at the moment. There he is, the purple and blue, sitting in behind the multicolour of Ronald Volker, our pole man. He's not had the run of it. Been barged out of a leading position twice now in two heats of this final. He'll feel a tad aggrieved, I'm sure. That is the rub of the green. Can penalise the other driver. What he can't do is give back the track position for the man who has been wronged. Not sure there's any easy way around that in full-size racing or indeed here in RC. So it's the battle for second and third. Volker has to stay in second place to have any chance at all of the title with a bad finish in the first race when he was down in fourth position. And Volker then pushing hard. Volker, I think I tried to put him in fifth position. Uh, in the first heat, it was fourth, just check my notes. But he's got to stay second and then win the final to have any chance at all. And then it would be on time, wouldn't it? Oh, and there's the dive down the inside from Reinhardt. Mark Reinhardt knows that to stay on terms with Alex Hagberg, who's leading. He needs that second into the closing stages, last lap. Hagberg's got this one and he'll have a first and a second to take to the deciding heat. And who is second? I'm not sure. Let's have a look at the LRP replay. Well, there is the incident that cost them time. Volker confirmed now on the timing screen, going through in second place. So he hangs on to a chance just about. Hagberg, Volker, Reinhardt, your top three. And the championship will go to one of those drivers. Don't you go anywhere because this championship is far from over. But first, an HBI Sport 3 Rally Classics. It's all down to this, the third and deciding heat of the EFRA Electric Touring Car Euros in association 
with Montek, LRP and X-Ray. And for the man on pole position, Ronald Volker, it's a fairly easy equation. He has to win and he has to do 16 laps or more in a time of 5.12.063 or better because that was the win from Alexander Hagberg who already has a first and a second. He's sitting in third at the moment in the white and green car. The man in second could be the spoiler. Bruno Coelho, he's got no chance of the championship, but he could influence who gets it. Mark Reinhardt, the German, is the other driver in with this, currently in fourth position. And he has a win and a third, so a second would tie him with Hagberg, and currently he has got the best winning time. So second to Coelho would be not a bad result. In fact, that would give Reinhard the championship. Says Hindhoff with his shoes and socks off there, working that one out. Uh, of course, if he could get another win, that would mean we don't have to go at the count back of time. Uh, we'll bring you up to date with that as we get further through this race. But for Ronald Volker, the equation, as I said, is simple. He's got to win and got to go as fast as he can. What stands against him is he's got Bruno Coelho right up his tailpipes and, of course, the tyres aren't getting any younger. The track is cooling down, though, so this is a balancing act. It's been super, super hot all this week. And it's been a couple of hours since the second heat, so we're now into the evening time. The shadow's just getting a little bit longer, and the heat of the day has gone, which will help. But remember, crucially, the tyres are far, far away from being at their brand new and best. So Volker then leading it out with Coelho behind him. We've seen Coelho do this and then, frankly, just seem to lose patience and make a rash dive. Coelho and Hagberg are teammates, so, so Coelho might just be trying to take the attention of the leader in terms of the time and certainly the lap times aren't there at the moment for Ronald Volker now I wonder if we'll see Coelho just pull across here and let the green and white car go through just past the half distance mark now Volker oh I tell you what looking at the predictor Volker is there or thereabouts you know there's still a chance to do this on time so what does Coelho do here does he go for the lead I think the stewards would take, the race director would take a very dim view if there was contact here. And I'm not sure what they could do, but I'm sure they're watching very carefully, particularly with Hagberg in the box seat, sitting in third in this heat, but also with a slight advantage in the final. Reinhardt has not been a feature here, and Mark Reinhardt is not there at the moment. Reinhardt is not going to be featuring in the title battle. But still, just under two minutes to go now. And this is... Oh, I, I, he's just ahead of time on the computer. That's the leader. And here comes Coelho again in that white. Yellow down the inside. Oh, that was very close indeed. And again, Coelho is being on his best behaviour. This is some of the best driving we've seen from Coelho. Where was this in the first two heats? Volker holding on to it. The time is ticking away. He's, oh, it's just beginning to go into the red. He's pushing on now. Here come, Oh, and there was the dive down the inside from Coelho. And that has just sprung Volker for a moment. Now Hagberg. Hagberg will be watching this as well. If he gets another victory, of course, the title is his. And the predictive time. He's in the green. He's in the green. He's about a second up, a little bit more than that. This is going to be amazing. I've never seen a European title go down to count back. In all the time we've been doing RC racing, Efra Electric Touring Car Euros coming to you in association with Montac, LRP and X-Ray and it's going to come down to the clock. The toughest opponent of all for Ronald Volker. He's got the man who he's likely going to beat at the championship. Oh, and he's taken him out. Oh my goodness me, but he's kept going. Has he lost too much time? The stewards will be looking at that. He was only 1.5 seconds up. Here's the LRP replay. Oh, that was really, really marginal there. Fabulous save from Volker, who gets it pointing in the right direction. Time is ticking away. This is going to be tight. He had a margin of a second and a half, and it is going to go to the clock because I don't think 
that Hadberg is going to get back to Ronald Volker. Hadberg is not there. Last lap, Volker chasing the title on time. He's coming through now, less than half a lap to go through and watching the time it's going to be tight it's going to be very tight indeed i dare not even look at this he's now got company again and he doesn't need it but there's the line oh and he's done it he's done it by fractions of a second five minutes 11.936 against a 5.12.063 that is the smallest margin the same in results it's yeah. gone to time and nick damon is with the new efra electric touring car european champion Congratulations, that was unbelievable. You won that by about less than a tenth of a second. Fantastic performance. Thank you very much. Um, I'm shocked. Like um, today, for sure, my car wasn't as good as in qualifying. The, the conditions were worse and I lost a lot of pace and I didn't have luck with, um, with the other guys in, in, in the A1 and A2 and I know I had to win the last one with a good run time. And I just had no pace and I was just hoping to, to get away some of it, but um, when Alex hit me uh, a minute to go, I thought it's done, it's over. And even in the end, in the last lap, I had no more grip and Bruno was catching me. And I, I thought for sure it's over, but the feeling you have now, winning this event by one tenth with, with um, no, no sharp weapons anymore, it's, uh, it's amazing. Just so you know, going on to that last lap, you weren't European champion. Your predicted time was behind what you needed. And you pulled it out in the last lap with hot tyres, with no grip, with, a mat with Bruno harrying you. Fantastic performance. Thank you, yeah. Like I said, I thought I lost it already before and even here, he almost passed me and I can't believe it's just a, a tenth and after this day, it's, it's amazing. Well, what a remarkable Efra electric touring car Euro final with Montec LRP and X-Ray. Here's the X-Ray results. Less than a tenth of a second gives the win to Ronald Volker. The Yokomo driver in the home of X-Ray beating the X-Ray driver Alex Hagberg in the second with Mark Reinhardt on the Tamiya in third position. Perhaps that was karma. Ronald Volker taken out of the first two heats when he was leading by the X-Ray driver Bruno Coelho who will be classified in fourth in the championship. But my goodness me, he did it the hard way. What a championship win for Ronald Volker. Well, there you have it, a new European touring car champion and a look at 110th Drift, Grip and Rally. However you choose to enjoy RC cars like these, HBI Racing is the ideal place to get started. And that's us finished. There is so much more RC racing action still to come in this series, but if you just can't wait, well, head over to www.rcracing.tv and watch it right now. But until next time, goodbye!